Американская фирма Transceptor Technology приступила к производству компьютеров «Персональный спутник». Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm just gonna kind of let it fucking rip. Um, I was at the gym and I started getting all fucking worked up about shit, uh, thinking about accountability, goal setting, and, and and everything that surrounds those. And uh, I I'm, I'm kind of worked up. I'd, <laughs> I'd uh, if I'm being completely honest, I had to change my shirt a couple times because. I was uh, I couldn't stop sweating. You know when you like work out, you take a shower, and you got those. I, I call them the post shower sweats, and they just won't fucking go away. That that's how I was because I was I was getting myself into state. I wanted to get on the camera. I wanted to do this shit. And anyway, that's uh, that's another story. I'm freaking my dog out right now. Jet, everything's okay, buddy. Um, but like I said, I want to talk about accountability and, and goal setting. Um, and, and how did I, how did I get here? Well, um, I started getting pissed off at myself because I, I've been, uh, working through an injury. I, I strained my hamstring pretty bad and working out has been kind of tough and I was getting down and I had to look at myself in the mirror and be like, well, okay, this, this next rhino challenge, how fucking bad do you want that Heath? How bad do you want that? Are you going to let, uh, you know, the little hamstring break that whole, uh, break that whole thing down, break that whole thing down that can, uh, bring your message out to a shit ton of people. And so I had, I got to go back in my own mind and think of all the other injuries I've overcome that, that make this seem like shit. And, and, and that's what you need to do sometimes. Sometimes you need to be like, okay, like, yeah, like this thing is tough. This, this thing I'm working through is hard. Like this injury hurts, blah, blah, blah. But, but man, if I go through like my file cabinet of, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, I think David Goggins calls it the cookie jar. Like he, he pulls out shit that like, like, Hey motherfucker, you, you did this or Hey motherfucker, you did this. And when you go through go through that cookie jar, and again, I'm I'm stealing this from David Goggins. Um, this is not something that I came up with myself. Uh, however, there is a, a you know a similar system or creed I live by. But you pull that shit out, and you start to realize, like, like yeah, you're a bad motherfucker. You're a bad motherfucker. You've been through. I've I've played an entire college football season on a destroyed knee that needed reconstructive surgery. I got back into training after being paralyzed in the army. Um, <laughs> you know, to, had eight knee surgeries, you know, continue to fucking do shit, broken back, broken neck, gotten back from just about everything. So a, a fucking hamstring, and I had to have this conversation with myself, like, like, come on, man. Really? Like, really? Quit being a bitch. Quit being a bitch. Like, you got a goal? And, and this goes out for everybody. Like, when you, when you set goals, when you set goals, and, and I'm pointing at you, I'm, I'm being, I'm like, uh, I'm like a annoying fucking parent right now. Like, when you set goals, but I'm going to get back. I want to stay in this state because that's that's where I fucking I that's where I fucking like to live. When you set goals, like when you sit when you sit down and you get in front of the fucking mirror and you're like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I gotta fucking you know, I'm gonna lose some weight, or I'm gonna, you know, quit drinking, or I'm gonna, you know, quit doing drugs, or uh quit being a piece of shit or whatever. You know, you sit down there, you look in the mirror, and you, you make a commitment to yourself. Because you get yourself in this state that, that you've, finally gotten, you've finally gotten sick. Sick and tired of the bullshit that surrounds the life that you're currently living. 
And a lot of us are a lot of us are sitting in that. A lot of us are sitting in shit that we've created and we've gotten comfortable with it. And, you know, like quarantine, COVID, uh, put on like, you know, it's kind of like the equivalent of the freshman 15 or something like that. The, you, know, you got like the COVID 20 or whatever, or, or some other shit you've just gotten comfortable with this new, uh, this quote unquote new normal that we have. And, and it's a bunch of bullshit. And you start to realize it. You start to realize it. And you want to change. And that's, that's awesome. Because you should. You should never, no matter what situation you are in, you should never compromise your standards. Because what is a standard? What, let, let's take a step back. Let's take a step back and let's look at what a standard is. It's a minimum requirement. It, a standard is a minimum requirement of what it takes for you, for you to m meet some goal, meet, meet some other standard. It's a, it's a minimum. A standard is a minimum. So when you look back, I, I, don't, I'm, I don't give a shit what's going on in your life. When you've got standards, standards are not compromised. When you, when you are setting a goal and you're standing in front of the mirror after you have failed yourself and you're looking at yourself, you're looking at yourself, what's, what's, what's the first question that you should ask yourself? And, and I'm not trying to shame people. I'm just being real with you. Like, wait, like, cause, cause I don't want you to start compromising because when you, when you start compromising, God, that's a fucking slippery slope. It's one thing. And then the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing. And then you, then you start compromising on like your, you know, things that are really important. Like your, like your fucking morality, your self-respect. Self-respect is a big one that play that plays into this a lot. So let's, let's, let's come back to that in a little bit because self-respect is a big motherfucker here. So you're sitting there in front of the mirror and you failed yourself. And this isn't, this isn't a shameful, excuse me, thing. This isn't a shameful thing. It, it's a real, it's, you're being real. You need to ask yourself, like, and I, I'm just going to, I'm going to use myself as an example. I'm going to use myself. And so like, I'll, because I, I set goals that, that I come up short on often. And, and I set some pretty lofty goals. I set, I set some pretty lofty goals on purpose because I, I will never know where my ceiling is until I fall flat on my fucking face trying to achieve one. There's, there's, a, there's a correlation there because you won't either. You won't know where your ceiling is unless you set a goal that might be achievable But you don't know. It's kind. Of, it's kind of on the cusp of. It's kind of on the cusp of what you've accomplished in the past, and and what you've never accomplished. So who knows? Who the fuck knows? You got to try. You got to try though. So you sit there in front of the mirror, and you fall short of what you what you promised yourself you were going to do. So you promised yourself this thing. This goal, this, this achievement, this resolution, and, and, and it's, you know, timing being what it is, you know, we're coming up on New Year's, so resolutions are going to, are going to be coming up. Yeah, you know, you're going to fuck yourself again this year. And I'm not being negative. I'm just, like I said, just being real. So you fell short of your goal and you're looking at yourself. You know, you're looking at your fucking self. 
You got to, what do you ask? What do you say? This is, this is what you say. You say, and again, using myself as, a, as an example, you look at yourself and you say, what the fuck happened to that massively confident, just supreme fucking being that made this awesome fucking promise to himself that he, that he deserves that he deserves to accomplish something great because of the work he put into what happened, what happened to that guy that made that promise to himself that was so supremely confident the night before and today stands in front of you weak and broken cowardly what what happened to that guy what what was so hard about living up to that standard that you fucking set for yourself the night before what happened to him why why were you so strong and confident the night before and now you stand here looking at a guy that's afraid of his fucking shadow what happened to him that that's 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 the first questions you start asking those are the first questions you start asking and because because you got to see when when you're setting down when you're laying down your goals when you're laying down your goals and laying down the things you want to accomplish you know there are going to be walls because wh- how does that saying go you know the uh from if you guys haven't watched it one of the best youtube videos ever uh randy pausch um how to achieve your childhood dreams he 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 talks about this at length walls are put up <laughs> walls are put there to test you for those that want it bad enough and so if you when you set goals you know there's going to be walls so what do you bring you bring a fucking sledgehammer with you and you walk through life with that fucking sledgehammer and you say wall fuck you boom wall fuck you boom you see a guy and then on the way to your next wall you stop and be like hey man you fucking rock and roll you rock have an awesome day guess guess why you treat that person with respect and and positivity because your problems, your walls, your walls aren't theirs. Your problems aren't theirs. And they probably never will be. So you treat people with respect along the way. And you, and you, and you don't make excuses. Because trust me. If you are living in the United States of America... And, and maybe I'll get some shit for this, but, but fuck it. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to commit to the statement. If you live in the United States of America, I, it, at no matter what state you are living in, whether it's homelessness up to the Uber rich, your problems are not what the problems of in other people's countries. Okay. You know, fuck me, fuck me for saying this, but I will, I will, that, that's, I'm going to get, I'm going to get to this later, but, but that, but that's a hill I'll, I'll die on is making that statement and, and speak and speaking of hills to die on and, and, and goal setting, like make what when you're setting your goals, like which, which one of these things that, cause, cause you gotta make and, and, and let's get, stay real, you know, there's, there's some compromises that need to be made a little here, a little there, a little there, a little there. And, and those compromises are there and they're not there. They, you don't make them to make you weaker. 
Some compromises are some compromises are 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 made on things that are unnecessary. There are things that you set out that are that if you sit down and look at them are fucking pointless. And so you can compromise on some of those things that you set out. You can compromise on you know some things, some some other shit you made to look to other people that are that are taken away from you achieving this goal. Because you need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself. If you don't do that, you guys have heard it a million times before, you can't take care of jack shit until you take care of yourself. And I've, and I've learned that the hard way. I've learned that the really hard way because I, I have tried to make massive change and change the change the world in, in many ways, shapes and forms. Um, I'm, I'm dealing with some of that right now. Uh, there's a bunch of shit. I want to, uh, there's a new business I want to add that I'm trying to start. There's a, a few other things I'm trying to go, but, but guess what? I, I I'm out of money because I made a decision on a goal. I set earlier to give away half of my income to charities over this last year. And so I, I don't, I don't have any money. And that's, so that's kind of why I, I haven't a uh, podcast in a while. I haven't made a video here in a while. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, no, I don't want, I, I won't ask for help. So if you won't do that, there's only one other option. That's just work, work and make money, find other ways to make money and do it. So you can, so you can do what you want to do. So you can do what you've made a commitment to yourself to do. There's only one way. I made a decision. I'm living with it. It put me in a, you know, I, when making that decision, I didn't have necessarily the foresight that like, oh, so there might be some other shit I want to do. No, because when you want to achieve a goal, that needs to become the most important thing in the world to you. And that's what that was to me. That's, and I achieved it. So fucking yay, pat, you know, pat myself on the back. I don't want it for anybody else. I don't, you know, I could give two shits about that. But I'm in a position now because of that where there's some things I want to do that I can't. And so what do I need to do? Reassess, uh, re, re, uh, reapply where my energy is going, things like that. It's what it boils down to is, is work. Work more. Work harder. So that's what I'm doing. Um, you need to do the same thing. And uh, fuck, sorry, I kind of I got got off track. So, but um, but yeah. So you reassess. You you look at where you're putting your energy, and you make you make that promise. Because it's a promise. You made a promise to yourself. You made a fucking promise to yourself that was that was going to be different this time. You made a promise to yourself. You know, you need to make... And this is going to sound horrible. When you break a promise to yourself, you need to feel as shitty as you do as when you break a promise to somebody else. Because guess, because I'm going to throw this in your face. You need to make the standards you set for yourself as important as the standards you set for other people or, or vice or vice versa. Because when somebody else, we, and we do this all the time, we make excuses for everybody in the world, but we don't make them for ourselves. You know, in in relationships, boyfriends, girlfriends, friendships, business partnerships, whatever. We make excuses for everybody in the world. Like, oh, they had this going on or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> whatever. Do you do that for yourself? More times than not, no. But you do it for other people. So why the fuck are you giving them 
this length of rope that you're not giving yourself. Why are you doing that? I need to ask myself that same question. Everything I'm saying to you guys, I, I wouldn't say unless I've fucking gone through it myself. And had to ask myself these same questions and the conclusions I came up with, I had to live with. And if it blew up in my face, guess who had to own it? Me. And guess who has to own your mistakes? You. If you're a fucking slob, own it. If you're a piece of shit, own it. If you're a fornicator, fuck or fucking whatever, a serial cheater, I don't know. Own it. And then be better. Then be better. Own who the fuck you are. And then just be fucking better. It's not complicated. It's not a crazy fucking equation or algorithm that you need to figure out. It's a simple thing. You just have a standard to go to to go back to where we started. You just have a fucking standard. And that and that's that's what you live by. And I, and I mentioned earlier, like, like hills, like hills to die on. Like what, what's your going to, what's your standard? What's your hill you're going to die on? What's, what's going to be the one thing that you will be like, no, no, I've, I've, I've moved a lot. I've done a lot for other people. I've made some compromises, done this and that, but this one thing, fuck no. This is my thing. And it can't be a million fucking things. It's just like I've talked about with people trying to, you know, uh, with social justice and shit that's going on in the world. You can't tackle 500 problems at once. You know, you try to solve this, 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 equality for everybody, da, 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 da. It doesn't work. Every life coach, every self-help book you read will tell you the same fucking thing. You can't fight a battle on 5,000 fronts. You will lose a hundred fucking percent of the time. There's been a, there's been a million historical, like Alexander the great Napoleon. I don't, I don't know. You know, if you need some more examples, I can come up with them. Those are just the ones off the top of my head. You can't fight a battle on multiple fronts and expect to have success. Because there is a chink in your armor somewhere. And it will be found. Because people are looking for it. So you fight one battle at a time. You solve one problem at a time. You die on one hill at a time. That's all I got for you today. Like, like I said, I was, I was fucking fired up. Needed to get on the mic. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'm not not calling anybody out, not bitching at anybody. It just, I, this is some shit I felt and I wanted to get out and just, uh, it's out there now. So fuck you guys keep training hard, keep kicking ass and uh, yeah, fucking see you at the top.